Facebook whistleblower Francis Hagen testified before a Senate panel earlier today demanding lawmakers take action against the tech giant. She says company leaders knew they've been sparking hatred and affecting mental health issues, especially among young teens and adults. Channel 3's Travis Cummings is in the studio with an expert's opinion about the impact of Facebook. Travis. Yes, Andy, Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp were all down for hours yesterday. People weren't able to scroll for their daily news, connect with clients, coworkers, or advertise. Though some argued that it was a good thing, while others thought not so much. One mental health expert says moderation is key. There are a lot of folks out there that are willing to do harm. And this is the good way of doing it, is attacking our young folks. Volunteer Behavior Health's VP of Operations, Nathan Miller, has had a share of helping young people with issues they face. More recently, it's social media sending them to the office. You know, we're seeing a lot of kids that uh, are doing violent things. They're acting out because there's a challenge on on the uh, one social app or another. This week, Facebook and some of its other platforms shut down for hours. In the same week, a former employee for the tech guru revealed the company knew its products were causing mental health issues for young adults, but wasn't doing anything about it. A safer, free speech respecting, more enjoyable social media is possible. With about 22 million teens logging on Instagram in the U.S. each day and 5 million onto Facebook, according to the Wall Street Journal, Miller agrees there's some work to be done by the tech giants. Filters, uh, check systems, these different things, instead of just throwing something out there and saying, okay, this is good, this is what we're going to do because we're making money on it, that's, that's not the moral way to look at it. He says parents play a huge role too, like monitoring when and how long their kids use these apps. Adding that consideration and moderation should be going hand in hand. If we can teach them to come to us and say, mom, dad, what is this? You know, I need to, I need to know what this is. Talk to me about this. Yeah, that communication is key there, parents. Or if you or someone you know is dealing with a crisis because of social media, we'll have some resources listed below this story inside our app. In the studio tonight, Travis Cummings, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.